Hey everyone, it's John Penton with your Vancouver Real Estate Update for the month of October. Have some really big news to share with you all today. Just in the last few weeks, I've seen interest rates dropping dramatically. And uh, one lender is now offering 3.99% for a five-year fixed rate for mortgages under $1 million. So if you're looking to buy a condo or townhome under $1 million anywhere in Canada, give me a call. I'll get you in touch with my mortgage advisor who is offering these exclusive 3.99% interest rates. I have another friend working at TD Bank and he's getting rates down to 4.3, 4.4%, which is also very good. So with these lower interest rates over the last three, four weeks, I thought the market would rebound and see way more buyers come back and start buying again because the summer was quite quiet. Well, um, we're seeing that we're not having the demand that was once expected. We are seeing so many new listings come to market, which I thought, and so I was predicting we wouldn't see prices increase at all and go sideways. Well, we're actually going sideways and a little bit down due to the fact that there was way more listings than anticipated. Actually, the second most ever for the month of September, over 6,000 new listings for condos, townhomes, and houses. It was a three to one ratio versus 1,800 sales for the month of September. So in general, the market's very slow right now, and there's some huge um, policy measures that are going to be implemented as of December 14th, which I'll touch upon shortly here, which will stimulate the, the real estate market. But from now until December 14th, I foresee even with another rate cut in October, December, I don't see prices going up and I see them actually going down a little bit just to the excess supply and a limited amount of buyers on the market. Buyers are holding out uh, due to the fact that there are some uh, government measures coming into effect in December, which I'll touch upon here. But in general, um, I'm not seeing many people come to open houses. I do have uh, accepted offers on my listings right now, um, but there's just not much competition. There's a lot to choose from. And if you don't stage your property, it's not going to sell. So if you are needing to sell your property um, in the next month or two, you're going to have to stage it or it will not sell for the price that you expect. Uh, there's just way too many homes for sale and uh, buyers have so many options. So in general, my uh, advice to you, if you are a homeowner, do not sell if you don't need to. I personally believe the, the best time to uh, uh, sell your property for the top dollar is in February. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to take their homes off the market in uh, middle of December. They're not going to get the price that they want and they're going to take a few months off and they're going to come back in March. But by the time all these ex extra listings come back in March, April, uh, you will have won because there'll be a lot of buyers that are more optimistic by middle of January, February. So I do think if you want to cash out in the next six to nine months, February will be the month to sell a house, condo, or townhome, um, especially with the interest rates dropping uh, into next year. If you are a buyer, I personally think uh, any time before 2025 is ideal due to the fact that competition is very low right now. There's a lot to choose from. And uh, if you are a first time home buyer, keep this in mind. Um, as of December 14th, they are raising the limit from 25 year amortization up to 30 year amortization. So this means if you're, for example, buying a $650,000 one bed condo downtown, uh, you're going to save $300 a month if you close on the condo after December 14th. So if you are buying a condo this fall, do not close November 30th or December 1st, wait until December 15th, and this will save you $300 per month just by simply waiting a little longer on your completion date and possession uh so that's some those are some huge measures that the government is taking they're also raising the the limit from 1 million to 1.5 million for insured mortgages so uh, everyone knows that it's always a 20 percent down payment o over any home over 1 million dollars but as of december 14th it's going to be 1.5 million so if you want to put down 10 percent on a house in langley or surrey for 1.3 million you will be able to so this might stimulate the housing market for entry-level detached homes in Langley, Surrey, and Maple Ridge um, starting in uh, middle of December leading into January. Um, so we'll keep, we'll keep our, our eyes out on that. But yeah, in general, buyers, um, middle of November to early December is my go time, I think, uh, for, for, the, for the, the foreseeable future for the best time to get a good, really good deal. Um, there's another rate cut coming end of October, so sellers are still going to hold out a little longer. But they're going to realize that the sales are not happening and the prices are starting to fall a little bit. And we might see $50,000, $100,000 come off 
the asking price specifically for detached homes like Langley and Surrey, Maple Ridge, etc. In condos in Vancouver, you might get 20, 30,000 off if you're lucky uh, at the end of November. If you are eyeing some properties that they've been on the market for a while, they probably won't sell. And I would wait longer um, to uh, to offer on it if um, if they're if they're firm on their price. Just wait until the end of November because I think it's going to be a very good time to buy. Due to the fact that a lot of people are going to take it off the market if they don't get really much action and they won't come back until March. Uh, the Canadian five-year 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 bond yields are at two point eight seven right now. They're up seventeen points this week due to the uh, mostly due to the fact that. Uh, the war is going on, well, almost a war over in uh, Lebanon and um, Israel. Not good what's going on over there. But essentially with these uh, low in, uh, bond yields, we are seeing the interest rates drop down to around 4% at some lenders and 44 at other ones. So keep that in mind. If you're looking to refinance your mortgage or if you're a first-time home buyer for a pre-approval, give me a call. I'll be happy to help you uh, get in touch with the right mortgage advisor to help you get into um, the real estate market. Um, but basically, in general, uh, for example, if you um, or say you want to buy a nine hundred thousand dollar townhome uh, at five percent interest rate right now, which some banks are still offering five percent uh, with twenty five year amortization, you're looking at roughly forty two hundred dollars a month for the mortgage payment. However, if you get an interest rate at some lenders like I know are giving four percent, you're going to get down to thirty eight hundred a month. Plus, if you wait to close after December 14th as a first-time home buyer, you're going to save another uh, $400. So you could be saving up to $800, $900 a month um, by middle of December on a $900,000 townhome if you're a first-time home buyer. So keep this in mind if you uh, are about to buy a townhome uh, or a condo as a first-time home buyer. But anyone in general still uh, wanting to buy, don't settle for 5% or 4.7%, 4.8%. We are seeing... Uh, fixed rates come down dramatically so shop around but personally i would go with a one-year variable rate um, even if it's over five percent we're going we're to see these variables drop dramatically lower than the fixed rate probably by next summer and so you will be saving money overall and then by next summer i would go and lock into a three five-year fixed term when the rates have fallen down dramatically by next summer uh, so anyways in terms of the stats for september very gloomy Tons of new listings, almost record 6,144 6, new listings for the month of September, uh, 14, almost 15,000 listings in general in total on the market right now, which is 24% above the 10 year average. So it's not good. Um, we're basically in a buyer's market and the sales to active ratio is at 9%, which is a buyer's market for detached homes. Uh, townhomes are at 17%, condos are at 15%. But with the next two rate cuts later this fall, demand could pick up. But I'm thinking that's not likely. Just to the fact that there's a ton of listings on the market, it's going to take a while to go through them. We essentially need a whole bunch of people to take their property off the market starting early December and wait to come back in March for the spring market. So the best time, I think, will be to sell your property in end of January to mid-February. Um, overall, house prices are down 1.3%. Condos are down 0.8%. And townhomes are down 1.8% overall. Uh, getting into the figures here, Ladner somehow houses were up 3% for the month of September. Bone Island was up 2.8% and Squamish was up 1.4%. Burnaby South, however, was down 4%. West Vancouver down minus 3%. Pitt Meadows minus 3%. North Van minus 2.6%. Uh, some big drops for townhomes for the month of September. Poker Quitlam down minus 5.5%. Vancouver East townhomes down minus 5%. North Van minus 4.3%. Uh, basically, all townhomes in the Lower Mainland and the Greater Vancouver Real Estate Board are down for the month of September, except Maple Ridge at 0.08%. Condos, um, very interesting figures. I'm not sure if they're real, but in Squamish, condos were up 13% for the month of September. Sunshine Coast up 12%. Whistler up 11.7%. Take that with a grain of salt. They seem very high. Uh, I'll look into it further. I don't have time right now, but... Uh, yeah, and Tawasson is down minus 11% for condos and Ladner down minus 11% as well. So for some reason, these figures are a little out of whack for condos. Uh, I look into it further. Maybe in the next video, I'll look into it more for you. But in general, I've been waiting to do a video actually the last two weeks, just waiting for that return of momentum. Um, I'm not seeing it yet. The buyers uh, on my listings, there's not many people wanting to look, but the ones that are, are looking, they are making an offer and they're making reasonable offers. If 
If, for example, if a home is asking 1 million, people are offering 960, which where the assessment value might be 930, 940. So prices are still selling above 2024 assessment value. So that's the good news. Prices are general are going sideways. They're not really going down too much. But um, if you are waiting for that deal, especially for that $100,000 off the asking price kind of deal where if a house is asking 1.5, you get it for 1.4, you're going to have to probably wait a little longer. Um, probably middle of November will be your time to strike. Uh, with a rate cut end of October, sellers know there's a chance that the buyer buyer sentiment might shift by November, but I'm not really too confident on that since we have almost record numbers of, of new listings for the month of September. We really need to get down to about 10,000 active versus 15,000. So I don't see 5,000 home sales happening over the next six weeks here, especially due to the fact that we only had 1,800 for the month of September. And usually October is quieter than September, but you never know. We'll see, but I doubt it. So in general, don't sell your condo or townhome until February. If you're a buyer, it's a good time. Maybe wait a little longer, but you can still negotiate now. But the best chance probably will be middle of November when people are just about to take their home off the market for the Christmas holidays over December and into January. And that will be the time when the market sh sentiment shifts. And I really believe we will see um, renewed optimism, especially for entry-level detached homes in Surrey, Langley, Maple Ridge, starting in January of 2025. I think any home around 1.2 to 1.5 million um, with the fact that that first-time home buyers can get a 30-year amortization plus they only have to put 10 percent down instead of 20 percent there's going to be a wave of townhome buyers that are going to be moving up into the detached entry-level home in the fraser valley um, greater vancouver area where they once thought they couldn't buy a home because 20 percent means an extra roughly hundred thousand dollars in savings so a lot of people that have bought townhomes the last five six years have actually this renewed optimism that they can actually afford that that house that they've always dreamed of. So um, if I were you, uh, if you were uh, owning a townhome right now, you might think it's a better time to sell in February, but it might be too busy by the time we come to February. So maybe get your townhome on the market now. You might have to wait a while, but just wait for your price. Because if you do wait to sell your townhome in February, you might miss the boat on buying that $1.3, $1.4 million detached home where you can put 10% down versus 20% like it is today. So as of December 14th, that is changing. And also the 30-year amortization rule instead of 25 years as a first-time home buyer. So some real big stimulus coming to the market as of middle of December. It won't come really it may have an effect until middle of January, the earliest. So from now until middle of January, I expect a very relatively calm market. We are in a balanced market, but it doesn't seem to feel balanced. It does feel like a buyer's market. Buyers have the upper hand in majority of cases. However, sellers are very firm still. I'm seeing a lot of uh, sellers not wanting to drop their price. There's not a huge determination on sellers to sell. So there's not a, a like a lot of people sell, losing their jobs at all. They, everyone says the economy is not doing well. Well, I don't see it happening yet. I just see a stalemate happening in general between buyers and sellers and who's going to cave first. Right now, no one's caving. Buyers are paying top dollar still in general and sellers are waiting for the, the price that they want. So if you are on the in the real estate market right now, don't expect much to change until the end of November and that will be the time to pounce and get a really good deal, I think, if you're lucky. not Most people won't get a deal at the end of November because most sellers just don't cave, but we will see some homes drop 100 grand and even townhomes dropping 50 60 grand by the end of november but in general expect 20 30 thousand off on a townhome and probably 50 thousand off on a house and for condos you're looking at maybe 25 thousand off the asking price so if you uh, want to refinance your mortgage this fall if you want to get a pre-approval get a get a head start on the the uh, market coming up here and want to get a four percent interest rate uh Feel free to reach out to me. I'll put you in touch with my mortgage advisors and uh, get you started there. So if you have any questions about uh, how to buy a home or what you should to do to start looking to buy a home or what your house is worth, feel free to reach out to me and let me know uh, what your questions are. So feel free to like, uh, like and subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks and have a great day.